Hi everyone, it is Mrs. Red here from Mrs. Red's Art Room and today we're here to show you what is in the May 18 Red's Art Cart. As always I like to have a little example of what might be in the cart as a bit of a clue. Showing you the artwork again there, it gets a little bit of glare on it on this one. So there we go, clearly we know it is a painting but what paint are we using is the question. So let's go have a look. All right, everyone, let's get into this. So it's the May 18 Reds Art Cart, and obviously it's a painting month. What are the paints we are using? They are water mixable oil paints. Um, and of, of course, with all my videos, if you've watched some of them before, you may hear Milo, the Indian ringneck in the background as well. Um, not easy for me to tell him to not talk and he's just getting started at the moment so you may hear him. I did feature him in the last video at the end but he got a bit camera shy which was a bit of a shame. Um, okay so let's just start with the canvas that we've got there. This is obviously the example canvas and if I just bring in to um, the video there we go that's the little one that is in the art cart. Um, cute little canvases these are quite new and um, nice and light as well. So there's the canvas that everyone's receiving. Now the paint palette, I'm not going to touch this because it's going to pop open. So it is a disposable paint palette. Saying that, it's thick plastic so it will actually take um, a little bit of paint as well as long as you're not using oil paint. I, I will show you soon um, what it looks like after trying to clean it up. Um, not very successful when it comes to oil paint. Uh, even the water mixable one. So with your water mixable oil paints that it just means that you don't need to use the turpentine. So it doesn't mean that you add water to them and thin them down. You still It's still recommended to use say a linseed oil to um, thin your paints down um, and the everything about them is um, very much similar to oil paints which <clears throat> excuse me i'll explain again soon so i'm just about to open this one up they do come um closed up like this so this is just like the one that i was just showing you this is the one that has been used with the demonstration as you can see it there and what i did was i scraped out any excess paint i then um tried to wash it with water soapy water didn't work and then I tried to dry it with a paper towel so if you're using these paint uh, these palettes with acrylic paint or say watercolor yes you could continue using them oil paints don't think so I think they're um, they're more of a handy travel item if you were using oil paints they're not expensive they're retailing it oh I think it's going to be around two dollars fifty three dollars um, they are flimsy but but they're still thick they're they're a good thickness I was really quite happily surprised with them so I'll see if yes it is going to close back up there we go all right so moving on to our brushes Everyone's receiving two sizes of brushes. They are oil brushes. They can be used for acrylic as well. They will look like these two here, unlike my two. Now, I have used these two brushes for this painting. They have been washed with soapy water, which is what is recommended afterwards. However, I don't think that that has worked well enough. Um, with oil paints, you do tend to find there is a brush soap which is um, a hard paste. I still think that I'm going to have to dip these ones in there. It's hard to, to see um, via the screen, but they're, they're, they're very oily. Um, and with your brushes, if you do use these two brushes with your oil, uh, the water mixable oils, you can't go back to using these with um, acrylics or watercolor the paint will not uh, sit on the bristles, it will just slip off. Um, so that's the main thing about if you do like to use uh, different paints. You, you, you can go from using acrylic brushes and use them to, for oil paint, 
but you cannot go in reverse for that reason that the paint just won't sit on it it slips off it slips onto the canvas and you've got no control um, yet yeah, lessons learned I learned that one the hard way so that's the brushes there now let's get on to the oil paints just one more tip in regards to your brushes. If you're taking a break or the nights come to an end and you um, are just doing a bit of clean up, always make sure that you take your brushes out of your water bucket or your turpentine, purely because if you don't, you'll end up having cracking occur in the handle. This doesn't matter on the quality of the brush. It will happen to them all. Excuse me. And it happened on this one because I was naughty and I left the this brush in the bucket. Uh, I don't think it was overnight, I think it was for the afternoon and all the cracking has started to happen and it just becomes annoying because then it's just not as secure um, as it should be. So that's just a quick tip on that. Okay, so on to our oils. The ones that I have chosen to use are the De La Rowney Georgian uh, water mixable oils. That was a mouthful. Um, now, there's a few companies that obviously are making the water mixable oils. These ones, price-wise, are not a student grade, but they're not the top of the professional grade. So I would say they're great beginner ones. Um, they're not cheapies. Um, but if you haven't used oil paints before, or the water mixable ones, I'm recommending these ones. I did oil painting for a good four years or so. This is going back about 10 years ago um, and absolutely loved it. The reason why I changed from acrylic painting to oil painting was because my kids were young and I'd be happily painting at a canvas and then would need to attend to one of the children and with acrylic the acrylic will dry and with oil you can put your brush down you can go on a tent you can be gone for an hour you can come back and you can keep painting so that was a that's what i loved about oil painting however when i did the example artwork i did not have my oil brain on at all i completely had a acrylic mindset happening and um it took me two Two, time, uh, two, two days to do this little painting because there's layers in it and I had to let areas be touch dry before I could move on. Something that I just completely didn't counter into um, my weekly plan that week. So the everyone's receiving the primary colours and a white and the reason for that is purely so that you can make all your colours from those um, the three colors and the white the the black to get a really good black you're actually mixing a combination of all three and you'll get the really dark colors like I'm getting here greens under this webcam do not um, come up properly so this background color which looks quite dark and blue to you is actually a real marine green um, and it's just this webcam just does not just doesn't respond well to green uh, colors at all um, so yeah have fun with them do a little bit of research if you want to on water mixable oils you are dipping them into a water bucket rather than turps you're washing them with soapy water even though I think that's not enough and your drying times are pretty much the same um, I will see if I can you can see the texture of the oils I love that about oils it's still tacky I can feel it on the sides there I have also just put some clear um, masking tape around the outsides as well um, but did have a lot of fun with that but probably just didn't plan for the right painting for oil paints because I completely forgot about the drying time with it um, I also just quickly left here this is my um, so when I, my paper towel, when I was washing the brush and I'd get the majority of the paint out of it and that water wasn't soapy by the way, it was just um, tap water, I would then be doing this and getting the excess out of the brush. Washing the brush wasn't enough. So I think, yeah, there's a fair bit going on there. 
So have some paper towel handy because once you've rinsed your brush in the water, you'll need some of this just to keep getting that color out of it. Um, if you've got more brushes, then go for that. Use them for your different colors. There we go, everyone. That is the art cart for May. Um, the artist trading card has been included again. I actually went a month without it and people wondered where their artist trading card was. So that's nice to know that it was missed. Um, and you also got your little social media card there. So when you photograph your artwork and put it on social media, please remember to put the little red art card in there so that uh, we get more interest. And of course, if you um, are watching this video but have not um, heard or purchased one of the Reds Art Carts before, head to the website, see what it's all about. It's a monthly art, art subscription um, and we cover as much art materials as we can that can go into a box and be sent through the mail. So enjoy everyone, have as much fun as I did, remember your drying times and I will see you in the next video uh, for June Art Cart. Woohoo! Okay, bye bye! Oh my goodness, I'm back again. Um, you, you guys know I like to rattle on. There were two other things that I forgot to mention earlier. One is that the there's a YouTube video for this little artwork. It will be titled something like Water Mixable Oil Paints. Um, go have a look at that, especially if you haven't used oils before. You'll see me mixing the colours up and putting them down onto the canvas, obviously uh, two different days, not that you'll know that in the video. And the second thing is the fumes of the uh, the oil paints. So a lot of the reason why people would not use oil paints or attend classes where oil painters were, were the fumes of the turpentine. And um, it would give everyone a bit of a light head. Um, these ones don't have that, that traditional oil smell. They do have a smell which was as if like the paint has actually gone off with not not a strong smell but um, and when the paints were in the palette you can't smell it but if you take the um, the lids off the tubes and put them under your nose and have a have a whiff they just have a sort of yeah a bit of an off smell to them um, but like I said when they're in the palette and you've put the lid back on your tubes no problem you can't smell them at all so um, no odor to them at all all right I shall let you go now go do some painting and enjoy yourselves bye bye